All right, let's get started. Shift A, adding a circle. This time we're trying to do this, and then we're going to do a eight vertices. Okay, so the fill type, I'm going to do the ngong. So if I'm going to the top view, that's what it looks like. And if I'm holding a R key to kind of rotate this, and I want it to having like this particular angle, and this should be a pretty nice uh, angle. But I, I, it's not really like a, any increment that you can. Exactly. Do so. What you can do here is just holding R and rotate it. At the same same time, you're gonna type twenty point five. So this is the the degrees we're gonna do. So hit enter. So now it's actually snap over here. The reason I do twenty two point five is because we have a forty five degrees、uh, difference. So if we split in in half, it's going to be twenty five twenty two point five. So that's why we're Rotating this, so it actually going to be、uh, symmetrical for this shape. So this is very important step. And then I'm going to adding a a shape because final look is going to having some volume or especially on here we're gonna have a、uh, hemisphere. So basically half of of the circle. So Shift A to adding a circle this time. So this time you can actually bump it up a little bit. So you can do maybe do twelve. Let's do that twelve. So, and then I'm going to hit R to rotate in this here, and then、uh, snap. This actually rotated 15 degrees, and select this circle and to make it smaller, and G Y to drag it top here, and then we are going to kind of like to delete some vertices. Okay, go to the edit mode. So I'm just going to delete these vertices. Hit X to delete vertices. So now I'm having some.、Uh, Vertices basically it's a curve. G Y. We can come here and hit make it smaller, and then I'm trying to、uh, to to actually overlap these two vertices to here. All right, in order to creating a good shape. So G Y come here to select that. All right, so that's what I'm trying to do, and then next I'm going to select these two. Uh, hit Control J to join them together. Now it's become one single mesh. So go to the edit mode one more time. So basically, I can just、uh, select these two. Hit M key to merge at center. Same thing here, merge at center. Now we are having a pretty good shape to start with. However, for this purpose, we are going to creating a a one single unit. Then we using array modifier to do a a round circle. Because right now. I don't want to do like another seven times doing the same thing. I basically just want to duplicate one single part. So what I can do here, because we don't have vertices in the center、uh, at the beginning, basically I should do this. One thing is to do Shift A to adding a circle. I'm actually can make this as triangle fence. Now then we will be having a vertices down here. So I didn't since I didn't do it. So I can actually creating this. By myself as well, so it's not an issue at all. So come here, hit X to delete the vertices. So I'm just going to fix this. I'm going to select one of these, hit J to join that, and then the other one, J. So I'm having this circle for the center, so I should be fine. Just join these two, hit J. So now I have the, like the one unit, and then I'm going to select all these, hit the F key to fill it, and then select these two. I hit J to join it. All right. So now it's actually I'm going to start working with this shape、uh, to in order to、uh, do a, a quick array modifier. I'm going to select these vertices and I'm going to delete it. Okay. Hit X to delete the vertices. So now you see this is the single unit that we want to use. This is something that we want to create. Okay. So let's go to the array modifier. Here and then now I'm going to temporarily disable that, and then making sure this thing the origin is in the 3D cursor. So I'm snap the origin to here, and then Shift A adding a empty. Now I'm going to have an empty right here. Same thing is on the 3D cursor. So now go back to this, and I'm going to select the object offset and the Select the empty, and then I'm going to do eight of these. Now, if I select this empty again, hit R to rotate it. 
hit R to rotate it. Now we're having some issues here, here because uh, once we enable this, I realized there's something going on right, right here. So basically, this single mesh, uh, before we're adding a ring modifier, it has some rotations. So we need to do a quick apply. Shift A to apply all transform. It's including the rotation, location, and the scale. So we do that. After you've done this, and also your uh, origin is in the 3D cursor, now everything is aligned. So right now, if I'm going to enable this uh, array modifier, nothing change or nothing move until I move or rotate this empty. All right, hit R to rotate it. So I'm holding Control key. So if I see in this, I'm actually rotating 45 degrees now. You see, this is something happening when we're actually having this. All right, so we are going to do merge and select top and first. So now you can see we have creating this shape uh, successfully. All right, so this is kind of the shape that we want. So uh, you can shift the D to duplicate it. Hit the M key to adding a new collections. You can do back up. Uh, you can just toughly put it in there and go ahead apply this modifier apply now you can hide this empty also so now if we go inside here this is the geometry that we are going to uh, use and then we're going to hit e key to extrude it out and then to having this shape all right so this is one way to do it and the other way to do so is basically you are you can just start doing using a circle and then to creating this single unit is that'll be much easier for you. And the reason I did the first one is actually make more sense for a lot of people uh, when you do that. So what I can do here is shift A to just start doing a circle. Let's do that. Let's do a circle. And now this time select all these vertices and hit M key to merge at center. Then G Y to drag up here. So see, this is, looks very familiar, right? Then you can hit just J to join these vertices and to creating that shape, right? So, and then you can hit J to join that. Uh, I know this is kind of like the a triangle, but you got my point. So if you want to getting more vertices come here, you can certainly do so. So either way you want to choose to do, but I'm going with this one. By now, after we select everything, hit A key and go to the front view, hit Hit the E and Z, just drag a some top. And then we can actually make this thing as a you know a column, but it has a little bit different shapes than a regular cylinder. So you can definitely build in scenes using this as a prop. Okay. So now after we're having this, and uh, we can next thing we can do is to fix this inner circle because this is a lot of triangles. We can do select number three, face selection mode, Alt Z, we're gonna select all these faces as well. So we're going to select that, right? Okay, so making sure you select all the top part as well. Okay, so now next hit I key to insert it and hit I key insert it one more time. So now if you want to make punch a hole into it, uh, through it, it's certainly a good idea. And you can certainly do that. Control E to having the edge menu pop out. We can just bridge edge loops. Okay, do that, then it's gonna punch through over here. Okay, so it did it, and then we can come it out. All right, so if you can see this, everything's still in qual, and then I think we're in a pretty good shape. Now, next, we're going to adding a, a subsurface modifier, uh, but in order to maintain the edge and the look that we want to do, and uh, we need adding some bevel. And control two, if you we did this, it looks terrible, you know? So. Now we are going to go to the uh, edit mode. Now edge selection mode and uh, select sharp edges. So we want to make sure that we select the sharp edges that we want. And obviously it's not that smart because some edges that have been accidentally selected. So I don't want to having that. So I'm going to hit the B key to drag a box using middle mouth button. So I'm just going to check this. Or you can be using the C key and using the middle mouse button just kind of touch that all right whatever works for you and uh, B key and to deselect that so and these are the ones that we want to do bevel but I'm not liking the ideas having 
all these because I want to make sure this is become a circle pretty smooth. So actually, I'm just going to go to the actual mode and uh, I'm, I'm going to deselect these two as well. C and just touch that and C, touch that. C key, touch that. Now I think that's all the edges that we want to bevel. So I'm making sure we select that as well because we want to have that shapes over here. So, okay, cool. That's not too bad. All right, what I will do next, I'm going to do Control B to bevel it and snap. And I'm going to just do 0 0.001, small width and two segment, oh, too much, two segment shape number one and sharp to arc. Okay, so we have that to figure it out. All right, so now left click and then tap it out. So this looks pretty good. Enable the subsurface modifier. You see the curves remain the curves and the circle remains circle. Everything is smooth. Right click, shade smooth. Even better, right? This is what we want. If you feel like this is still not that smooth, you can certainly bump up the subsurface modifier level. So I can hit number four. So it actually can become very smooth, right? So and a couple of things we need to fix for sure. So you can see that we have some ungons. Uh, this is the ungong. Uh, obviously, uh, this is got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can easily just join these vertices, hit J to do so. But the, the only reason we fix this is because we try and having good, perfect topology. But for the render view, you don't have to need, really worry about that if you're just doing still image render because this is a absolutely flat surface you don't have to really worry about the the shading issues okay so but since we are trying to good practice topology so we just want to be aware that we need to fix this ungong issues but sometimes most of the time on the flat surface uh, you should be totally fine with ungong okay a j to do that and then select that the right, last one j Okay, so the bottom part I already fixed that, and to deselect the subsurface modifier, I'm going to Control R to adding a loop cut, and also a Control R adding a loop cut over here. Okay, so this is good. Uh, since I'm I'm a little bit lazy, so I already did the bottom part. I don't want to do the top work again. So I'm going to hold Alt Z, extra mode, select all the vertices on the top, hit X to delete vertice, and then what I'm going to do here, I'm going to select the bottom part, G and Z, to drag it up and to snap to this. And then I'm going to make sure this origin is going to the 3D cursor. All right, so I'm going to right click, set origin to 3D cursor right here. Then and I'm going to add in a mirror modifier, come here and drag the thing above the subsurface modifier. So I'm going to change that to Z axis and making sure the clipping is turned on, okay? Now, if I'm turning on the subsurface modifier, everything just go back to the beautiful, smooth, and perfect shape that we want. We can definitely, you can definitely uh, change the shape of this center circle, S, Shift, Z, and then you can just change the shape. Otherwise, if you only hit S and uh, change that, you may change the also the length of that, so see? that coming inside so we don't want to do that okay so doing s shift z it means doing the changing shapes uh, without the z axis so that's why what you want to do okay so you can certainly do this and uh, do based on what you need you can making this thing shorter or you can overlap that you can build a pretty cool scene i would say for your product photography rendering as a prop or as a uh, a cool element okay this is everything i want to share with you in this short modeling practice and i hope you enjoy this if you do please hit likes and share and also leave comments if you have any question with this and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye